What's up, Sunday fam? Welcome back to another Hellbound reaction. We are continuing with episode two of Hellbound. The first one left us with so many questions uh, as to whether or not things are happening, like, or, or as to whether or not it's actually like God's will or stuff like that, and things are starting to pick up, and we're finally, hopefully, going to <laughs> find out what's going on. I'm definitely leaning on, you know, God's will. I'm definitely leaning on the supernatural. There's some kind of religious aspects to this. I could be wrong because this could be hu totally man-made, that type of stuff. Now it could be man-made or it could be supernatural. I am leaning more towards supernatural, but not mm. God's will. I don't think it has anything to do with like worldly religions. I think it is just a supernatural entity that is going around killing indiscriminately. And uh, hopefully we'll need an Avenger type of character, not like Marvel Avengers, but someone that needs to avenge these deaths. Mm. Uh, and so let's just continue on with episode two. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, go on to our Patreon, sign up, and you can see all of our full reactions, including Dreamcatcher concert reactions and mm -hmm. all of our full uncut episodic reactions. Yes. But let's get on to episode two. Do you want someone to avenge these deaths <laughs> of low life, low well, life criminals? If it starts killing indiscriminately, well, that's true. That's true. You think this woman deserves it? I mean, we might learn that she does, but as of now, I don't think so. As of now, I don't think so. Well, it has something to do with that three three million one. I'm sure, they're gonna get a cut. I was about to say that would be so funny if she was like, "Oh, they do exist." <laughs> Back in the day. If the angels come for that old woman, <laughs> I'm gonna riot. I, I'm gonna stop watching this. <laughs> <laughs> we still don't know what's going on with her past. Like, why does she deserve to be hellbound? And even if it is in the it's in, it's in the past, like it, it, it must have been something minuscule or trivial where she's able mm. to live a life yeah, now. I, I still don't understand this guy. I still think he's an evangelist that's just doing the whole one-to-one, -one, oh, this must be God, angels and demons and stuff. It's just charcoal. Hmm? Why are you asking him? He's not the scientist. <laughs> the character in the script reads, it reads, this fearless leader has really high blood pressure. <laughs> Oh, don't do yeah. that to the guy with high blood pressure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, if you've seen yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen, his voice right now is reminding me okay. of Minami. Mm. Giggle? Hold on. I just want to show him really quickly. Show. Listen to his voice. No. Yeah. The way he talks? Twitch TV slash hell angels monsters. What? <laughs> Twitch TV slash new truth kill someone. I don't know. Mm. There's something off about him right now, too. Is that one of the sins? To... Out of wedlock? Is that punishable? I mean... I'm not sure anymore. I mean, yes. It is. Well, no, I mean, I mean, no, I mean, yes, it is like, like as I written. It's, I think it's like, um, like, it's like sex out of wedlock. Well, that's the same thing, isn't it? Like she ended up having two kids. Well, it's kind of shaky because like in those times, if you were to have a kid out of wedlock, then you could just get married. <laughs> she doesn't seem like she deserves it. I mean, if it, if it if it comes out in the future that she killed her the the two husband the two fathers, maybe. What do you mean, maybe? <laughs> well, it depends on the circumstances, right? So, I just want to know. But if she didn't, and if she just had two like kids with different fathers, it's just it's pretty petty. <laughs> yeah, that's your <laughs> hell down. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I can't get I can't get past him just having kind of like. Delusions. Yeah, I don't know if he's like an extremist or... Can't be. I don't know. No, I'm with you there. It's, uh, it's very cloudy. Is that an ad? <laughs> That's amazing that they actually have that here. Just the details. Yeah. 
it. All right, let's see if Google Translate can tell us what this says really quickly. Kinabalu, 60% off. Takinbal, <laughs> Oh, one of the world's third largest goldsmiths. What? Lucky day. Go to leap day mirror transition event. Oh, maximum 60% discount. Nice. Nice. Whatever that means, it's got to be worth it. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I, I don't mean, know what a mirror transition event is, but at this point, the, the new truth is, the, is only an organization that's trying to spread awareness. <laughs> Another ad for High Star. <laughs> Oh, it's the cop! I don't know, he's almost like cringy too. Like that's why I'm like, <laughs> needs to take a couple of steps back there. Like on one hand, I want him to be to be right that the end of days is coming and all hell's gonna break loose and the humankind there's gonna be a purge. On the other hand, I want him to be wrong. I don't know why I want him to be wrong. <laughs> I want him what to be I, wrong. I don't want him to be a creep. <laughs> what I okay, it's less of a want and more of what I'm thinking is he actually has something to do with it. Yes, I'm starting to think that too. That's yeah. I mean, it's almost like he's he's well. That doesn't explain him like hiking and then seeing those those things. Well, that's true, but like. The way that it's in Seoul now. Mm -hmm. Where did he say he was hiking? Himalayas? No, I don't remember. It was just a flashback. I don't think the location was disclosed. But I know what they're trying to do. You know, like it's it's creating this like hysterium, like like people, like in our society, they they latch onto this stuff. Fanaticism. Yes. And dangerous thoughts and, con mm. and concepts can be quickly radical or radicalized. Very radical. And dangerous. One of these uh, reactions we're going to have to be eating. <laughs> A mukbang reaction? <laughs> Sorry, that was, soju. that was so white of me. Mukbang? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that also sh seems shady. Everyone in this, <laughs> in this I know, I think that's just the way it feels that way, right? Right, right. Oh, <laughs> come on. No one has that broad of a reach. Maybe, <laughs> maybe Taylor Swift, but <laughs> <laughs> not this dude. I don't, she can't have possibly done anything wrong to these kids that they're... Well, not the kids. Exactly. I don't, I don't believe That's that what they're did. speculating yeah. with the bruises. Well... <laughs> it's always I, those small little things that you forget to do. I have to believe that this is the catalyst. This is the kill that, that doesn't make sense. People think she deserves it. <laughs> if he's dead, he's a murderer now. <laughs> That's, there's no two ways about it. What is she doing? What is happening? He's not a good guy. <laughs> He's not Damn, a good oh guy. <laughs> he just killed someone. Regardless if they deserved it. This isn't like God's will. He didn't even leave it to the angels. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's the, the it's the bamboo spears. <laughs> Devil judge all over again. It's a chaotic, futuristic oh. dystopia. Beat their asses! Oh no! Wait, why are why are they getting attacked? I have no idea. But why why are the but why are the police losing? Uh -huh. It's certainly a different take, because usually like things like this are isolated, and with like a few groups of. Special characters. Well, what the hell's going it's the on? The Jabba walkies. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Most movies is like all isolated. Only a few people know about it. Then the end of the world happens. Half of these people invested in Squid Game. <laughs> the question is, 
with her here out in the open, do the hellbound? I'm gonna call them hellbounders. Are the, are the hellbounders just gonna come in and be like, oh, she's not fighting back? That's usually now, man. Right? Oh, did they come crashing? <laughs> just start smashing. <laughs> <Yeah. it. laughs> we don't care if you're not fighting back. <laughs> It's so insane and how, how, can, how something like this can realistically happen. I mean, it can, for sure. So socially, yes. <gasps> what? Uh, <laughs> that's a way to end an episode. That's a great way to end an episode. <laughs> wow. Well, it's going to be just like the first guy we saw. Like, it, it's going to be like... <sighs> You know, she's gonna take a sigh of relief. People are gonna be like, oh, and then <laughs> place your bets right now. I think in the next episode, they don't show up. Mm. I think I think they will show up. I don't think they show up. I think chairman's chair, chairman's murder served as like a substitute. Mm, that's that might be a good way. That might be a way for him, at least for you. Mm -hmm. For him to become like a good guy, <laughs> he starts murdering people he thinks oh, deserves it. Oh, oh, it's kind of like one of those things like you don't see it, but then in the next episode, they show a flashback and he's planning the whole thing. It's like the way to save Miss Jung is to murder another person who deserves it more. <laughs> yeah, more relatively, I don't know, but like I still think that I still think that it comes down to a supernatural entity that is killing indiscriminately mm. and it chooses randomly okay i think it does that because it wants a sacrifice that's the that's yeah. that's where it's at right now and so mm. um him killing or ch the chairman killing that person was the the sacrifice that it was looking for at that moment all of this is making me like the drama more now because after the first episode i just wasn't sure like i was like do i like this i'm not sure but then there's the social aspect that's being introduced to this thing. There's the whole religious, supernatural, and now it's political. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty they, cool. They really know how to leave it on a cliffhanger as yeah. well. Um, but that'll do it for this reaction to Hellbound Episode 2. If you are watching this on YouTube, go to our Patreon, sign up, see the full uncut reaction. And if you're watching this on Patreon, thank you to our Patreons for signing up. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to turn on notifications. But as always, this is what we're watching this Sunday. We'll see you next time.